an introduction to the Bhagavad Gita, can a scientist believe in God? A Bhagavad Gita is not just a book, you know, but it is a book of science. It's a scientific handbook of life. You were terms in that it is the scientific handbook of life. It is said the Bhagavad Gita, it's among all is studied, analyzed and interpreted the most. Or sabse zyada pure world over me, yehi, this is the book that is studied the most. It is interpreted the most and it is analyzed the most. Or ajom kar rahe, scientific approach, the first chapter itself will speak about it. That how can scientists, can we, the scientists see God? Can scientists believe in Krishna? Can scientists believe in Bhagavad Gita? So, is ke liye Bhagwan khud nove adhyay me in the tenth shloka he is speaking about everything that what my nature is consisted of. So, Krishna is talking about this clearly. Ki ye meri prakriti hai. Aur main hi isko chalata hoon ye baar baar annihilate hoti hai aur dwara dwara prakat hoti hai. Order and design. Abhi hamne prakriti ki baat kari hai. Universe ki baat kari hai. Nature ki baat kari hai. When we think calmly and carefully about this wonderful universe, we can see order and design at every level. In the atoms, subse chota atom, then molecules, the solar system, and the universe. Scientists continue to find new and astonishing aspects of this order. The very word cosmos means an ordinarily harmonious systematic universe. So, aap ye dekhte ho, the order and design, two words go. Jab aap nature ko dekhte ho, kaise apne aap se kaam kar rahi hai, jaise everything is computerized there. So, hum kya dekhte hai, the design, the order and the design. And then we see it at every level, at the atomic level also. At the molecular level, then the big solar system level. You'll have to go back there to know that, yes, we all know this. Atoms, molecules, solar system, and the universe. Scientists continue to find new and astonishing aspects of this order. Or scientists ask me research. We always say they are researching. We don't say that they have made something in nature. It is said that the sun is so fast that it says here that it can produce so much of electricity and that no sun can be made, any scientists know, they could not. The sun and water are made from water, they produce energy from their energy. They cannot do it on their own. People don't believe it, so we can explain that. At atomic level, an atom includes a nucleus surrounded by orbiting electrons. The nucleus is the center. If you have a little bit of science, then you have to say that the orbit is the orbit, the rotate, revolve. All matter is made up of these building blocks. This has an exquisite order. Where did all this order come from? Puri nature is like this. So, where did it come from? There is no chance to be done. Because some people say that nature is the one that comes from your own. Nature is the one that comes from your own. वो नेचर को ही भगवान मानते हैं कि वो ही है। That is the निराकार रूप मान लेते हैं। But who is behind this? Then at the molecular level, constitution ऐसा है। अगर इसके constitution में एक ये molecule इधर से उधर हुआ तो उसका flavour change हो जाएगा, उसका colour change हो जाएगा उस चीज का। Because at the molecular level, at the atomic level, this is just for us to understand कि ये सारी चीजें कितनी orderly and कितनी organised way में बनाई गई हैं। 